Well, howdy DIYers, it's Walker with DIY.life, and in this episode, we got more beer box cowboy hats. Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to Eric at gafferpower.com for sending me this variety pack of gaffers tape. You can do pretty much anything with gaffers tape. And in this episode, I used it to trim my brim. So thanks a lot, Eric. I'm definitely gonna be putting this stuff to good use. After my first video, which you can see right here, by the way, I got a lot of requests for making hats out of like White Claw or my son loves Dr. Pepper. Can you make one for that? So instead of making a bunch of different videos for a bunch of different beverages, I did like Kamui cosplay, which makes some amazing costumes, by the way. And I designed a downloadable template. So you can download this bad boy, print it out, and you can make a cowboy hat out of pretty much anything. One of the advantages of using a template like this is that you have more control over placement of graphic elements on the hat. For example, you can do a really good job of getting a logo really nice and centered right in the front of the hat like that. And this one, this Vans hat, worked out just perfectly. Like, I got off the wall there, I got the Vans pattern, I got off the wall in the front. It just, it worked out so nice. And you can even make hats out of 12 packs, um, which I didn't think was possible before I made the template. One thing I found that makes great hats are these political signs. And they're everywhere this time of year. Now keep in mind, I did wait till after the elections were over before I grabbed any signs, but I did get a couple and I made one out of a Todd Gloria sign, who is San Diego's next mayor, by the way. Congratulations, Todd. I've got a victory hat with your name all over it. So hit me up and I'll get this bad boy to you. Well, hey there, creepy panda head. Are you ready to get your DIY on? All right, let's make some hats out of these things. So click the link in the description below to go to DIY.life and download the hat template. While you're there, check out the gallery of hats that you guys have submitted. So once you download and print out your template, um, lay out the template, and I gave, I put these little helper um, squares on here to help you, okay, that two goes up there, one goes up here. Three goes down here, and this one is number four. So, I would say if you're gonna, if you want a slightly smaller hat, uh, put all of the, put the page edges, the paper edges, uh, together and tape it. Um, if you want a slightly larger hat, what I would recommend doing is spacing it out a little bit. Maybe give like a quarter inch, a quarter inch gap between the pieces of paper and then tape it. And flip it over, put some tape on this side just in case. So you need to cut everywhere there's dotted, you need to cut. Now that your template's all cut out, you can lay it on your carton and start to plan out where your panels are gonna end up being. Um, this is the front or back of the hat, and these are the sides of the hat, I believe. For this hat, we'll go ahead and use this Truly Box. This is a 30-pack. Uh, truly box. Uh, I got it Costco. I've got a bunch of these So we'll just lay that down And we can lay our template right on top here. Ideally you'd want something like this where it's it's readable right side up Like that and you got some nice words Everything is kind of readable. See that one worked out nice because it's right side up. So this one is actually facing the right direction, so that might actually be a good spot to put that. And it's about an inch up from this crease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip over the carton and I'm gonna center it 
and I'm going to go an inch up from that crease. Let's tack it down with a little bit of tape first so it doesn't move around too much on us. To transfer the um, template onto the cardboard, I just use a Sharpie and I just kind of outline everything with the Sharpie. And that's what we need to cut out. Kind of looks like the Red Hot Chili Pepper logo. <laughs> And one thing you want to think about when you glue yours together, it doesn't really matter if you glue if you glue it on top or if you put it behind. What I would say is whatever looks better for your design. And in this case, we definitely don't want to cut it, cover up the word truly by gluing it like that. So I would I'm going to definitely glue it behind like that so that the word truly is nice and center and it's not covered up. So flip your hat back back over and put your template back on it. Uh, before we forget, we need to score this hat so that it'll fold and it will crease down the middle. Um, you want a nice crease down the middle so you gotta score the hat. Be careful not to cut all the way through your hat if possible. Just give it a score like that so that it leaves a mark but it doesn't go all the way through. Then what we'll do is we know we need to fold, fold it here. So we'll give that fold and then we'll fold this side. Now we gotta heat up the hot glue gun and let's glue this thing together. I would run glue down this edge and then run a line of glue down to your mark like that. And maybe across here too. Hold it in place for a few seconds so that it cools down and gets hard. And once you think it's good, you can release it. We'll do this side. And if, it, um, if it's popping out here, you can always just put a little glue. Sneak a little glue in there and press it down. Um, Repeat the same process for this side. I could glue it like this, but I kind of want to show the, the cans here. And plus, I don't really want this corner to kind of come loose over time. So I'm just going to tuck that under and we'll glue it like this. Now we need to do our fourth side. You can even give it a little, little test. Make sure it's going to fit on your head. Because if you were going to give yourself a little bit more, just make sure it fits on, not too snug. So that does feel super snug. I think I, um, I think I did this panel a little too tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, I'm going to peel this back off, and I'm going to open it up a little bit and glue it back down. Because that's that's too small. All right, there you have the bucket. The bucket head. It actually still feels a little small. I think it'll work though. Okay, now that everything's glued down and we got our shape, now because we scored it on the inside right here, 
we can take and put our fingers across the top like this and just kind of press down. And what that'll do is that'll cause a nice crease in the hat, which gives it that classic cowboy hat look and shape, just like that. For the next step, um, you're gonna to wanna to take a, like a scrap piece of paper and measure up about, I don't know, like four and a quarter inches or so and make a mark. Or just cut the, um, cut the paper in half. That would work too, since it's eight and a half inches wide. And you lay it on the hat like this. Kind of where this, um, where this edge is. If you could imagine there being an edge going all the way around the hat. Maybe hold it like right about there. And then what you'll do is you'll make a mark at each one of those marks. Now, take a pair of scissors and cut up to those marks. And stop when you get to the mark. Now that you've cut up to all of your marks, you start to bend these things out. And this will be what you attach the brim of the hat to. All right, and once you got all the tabs folded upwards, you should have something that looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is what we attach the brim of the hat to, or these tabs. So now we move on to the brim of the hat. Make sure it still fits. This one's a little tight for me, but it still works. Another thing I included in the template file is a template for the brim. So the same way you put the, um, the template together for the, the bucket part of the hat, I've got a template here for the brim. And I've got like three different brim sizes. Um, this one is kind of like the small size. The brim consists of two pieces. We're gonna, you have a top piece and a bottom piece and they're exactly the same shape and you basically just glue them together with some spray adhesive. If we're lucky, we'll get this word truly right on the front of the brim. And I still got my truly right across the brim there. So we'll put some, uh, we'll spray some, some adhesive to both of these pieces and we'll glue this together just like that. So let's 
go ahead and stick this through here. Just make sure, yep, that's the right angle. And then Now that the brim has dried for a few minutes, uh, we can start shaping the hat. And typically all that involves with is like bending up the sides here. Give them a nice curve on the sides. And then you typically have a dip forward in the front back. You have a dip down. So it kind of dips down in the front and back and then it flips up on the sides. And how much shape you give it is totally up to you. I think the more shape the better. It just looks cooler. It's got more character. Sometimes shaping it while it's on your head is kind of good too. That way it, you can kind of just like, pull it down there, pull it up here. Something like that. All right, now go make some hats and send me some pictures of what you make. I totally want to see it. That about does it for this episode. If you like this episode, shit kick that like button subscribe to my channel, or leave a comment below. And we will see you next time, cowpokes.